and hello 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 again boys and girls welcome back to the channel uh, this one's going to be a bit of a different one this is for the uh, subby boys uh, just uh, as a sort of a what do you call it yearly breakdown of what i've done and um sort of an up, uh, just to catch up really on how life is going uh, what the plans are for the channel that sort of thing i think i like the queen's speech but much less important or interesting or informative <laughs> um this is something I put into sort of once every year, uh, a sort of an update of what the plans are and things like that, because it's the 1st of December, so we're going to have, of course, the 1st of December update. So uh, first of all, thank you very much for uh, subscribing or watching. Um, when I first started YouTube, it was mostly because of my work. I do editing and enhancements and things like that, and uh, this is something to do in the free time. Uh, and I've just... <laughs> and so I didn't want to do anything too try hard if you know what i mean i don't want to do anything too excessive too too uh too uh too much in terms of effort in terms of presentation and things like that because of course i already did that in my work and so i played a lot of video games in my spare time and uh so i thought why not build off that while also building my knowledge from my work and things like that and uh, and so thus started the streaming of course i started on twitch and then eventually moved on off twitch because twitch is very difficult to actually gain any traction these days so i was doing about eight hour streams, um, almost uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, uh, burning the midnight oil. And at best I'd get like three viewers and then the VODs would get deleted after 14 days. It just wasn't really worth doing. Uh, sorry about the wobble, gentlemen. <laughs> the wobble is a product of this uh, camera being on top of my laptop. Uh, so in the end, uh, I moved off to that to YouTube, which had a lot more success. And because I like video games, uh, I thought, why not record video games and play and talk about video games while also playing it? And that sort of led to the YouTube channel. Uh, initially, I wasn't expecting to get very far. Um, I wasn't expecting to get a great deal of success from the YouTube because, of course, it's so low effort. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty low effort stuff. Um, but yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty bruh. Um, but uh, thankfully, or oh, fortunately, people were quite interested in watching the games and talking about the games and playing about the games and just seeing the tutorials and the bits of help I could give. And for that, I'm very, very, very thankful. Um, I think it was also great for one's self esteem as well. Like, Often with my sort of work, and I think most people don't really expect to be listened to or people to really care about what you have to say or uh, care about the things you enjoy. And just seeing the amount of people that have watched my uh, watched my stuff or have talked or communicated or had conversations with me uh, about the game has been great for one sort of uh, self-esteem in regards to feeling like you're appreciated, you know, it's very easy in in, uh, in modern day society just to feel like you're a cog uh, and the fact, or you feel like what you aren't a particularly interesting or a, a person people don't want to spend time with. <laughs> and so when you, um, uh, when you have, I mean, when you do something like YouTube, you expect you know, it to go horribly wrong with people to uh, insult the shit out of you or uh, people to uh, just uh, not be interested or be very critical of you and the fact that people have been interested and they've communicated and they've shown an interest because I I'll be honest with you gentlemen I've never subscribed once in uh, in my YouTube uh, uh, me watching YouTube because um, I never had a YouTube account until I started uh, making recordings and streaming and so the fact that people went for the effort just to actually subscribe and uh, actually uh, were interested enough to keep tabs on what I was doing uh, it means a lot simply um, from a just a personal level just to know that people that what i'm doing is worth to, worth interest to someone if you know what i mean of course i'm not going to cry about it it's not a not a hundred percent function of my existence to make youtube videos but it's just something i was doing in my part time my social life to uh just to develop more you sometimes you feel like you stagnate like i feel like a lot of the problems uh, people have is they stagnate and they, don't, and they don't move on to new targets. I think you're always going to be constantly moving forward. So when I did when I started YouTube, I thought it was something new to do, a hobby to advance and improve about the stuff I do at work. And also um, this is another way to advance uh, and go forward rather than just what, what I was doing, which was working, going back home, playing video games, working, going back home on the weekends, go home, playing video games. And it felt like it didn't have that sort of connection. Now, I'm not a very sociable person, so I don't really like um, 
talking to real people <laughs> in the real world. I, 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 it's always felt like a variable to me, like with a machine or a computer or something. If you say, if you you know, if you put the input in the same time, um, if you put an input in twice, you'll get the same result. Whereas with a person, you can say hello to someone and they'll say hello back one time. And then depending on so many other variables, um, they can then perhaps in a bad mood tell you to go F off the next day. And so I never particularly liked uh, the real world or people in it because it was um, there, were, I, there were variables you could never control. And so this was sort of a uh, an element to sort of expand that and sort of be in, a, in my comfort zone when I was talking to people uh, because it was uh, a zone I could control and uh, it was a way uh, where I could uh, talk to people about things that interested me <laughs> and interested them because you go out and you go to the pub and say oh I've got this new game called Cold Arms and you play as the Germans and you're advancing or I'm playing Hearts of Iron 4 I'm building builds for Spain people will look at you like you're from a different planet and um and you won't have much in common with the uh, average man on the street. Whereas, of course, in the on, in the internet and uh, with the ability to talk to people who actively are seeking your content, it means that you always have someone to have a conversation with on equal footing where both people have sort of a mutual interest. And I sort of expand my horizons, getting out of the uh, of the cave as the hermit, the uh, modern day cyber hermit. Uh, and uh, I'm very thankful for that. Uh, I know people don't have to bother commenting. I know I've never really bothered commenting. Uh, I've, I've sort of grazed content on, on YouTube. And it's nice to know people um, have similar interests or similar views. And I've always tried to stay too out of politics to a significant degree because I don't think people... I think people want entertainment and escape from the real world. I don't think people want doom and gloom or constant politicised. They don't want my opinion on current events because what's my opinion worth? I'm just some random guy on the internet who plays video games for a living. I have no I have no medical degree. I've got no... I'm not a politician. I don't know any of that sort of stuff. Of course, as a human being, I do have off the one-off comment about things that are affecting me, but I try not to end up being an, a sort of evangelical platform. The thing that I like to talk about are video games, and so I've always tried to keep a channel more about video games and uh, enjoying gaming as a whole and I've always wanted to pick bits and bobs from those video games and I, it's a wise genre of gaming so I've always tried to do a variety it would have been very easy for me when I looked at videos and looked at my view accounts and gone okay the best way to make money here is to go down the gates of hell or go down Hoi 4 and just focus entirely on that but as I said gaming was a hobby for me and I don't want to get pigeonholed into a specific game and having to wake up or after work go and play a game I'm not enjoying playing and so it's most again I've, I really appreciate the fact I've got such a wide uh, group of uh, people who enjoy my, my, my videos and I've really enjoyed that um, I've been able to play the games I've wanted to play because I haven't tried to go down the route of making this uh, financial I haven't tried to go for the money grabbing I think that's also worked pretty well for my um for my success, I know 600 subscribers is not successful compared to the big boys, but I wasn't expecting any. <laughs> so, you know, if you're expecting to fall down at the first hard hurdle, the fact is that you've got over the first hurdles and that is, 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 a, is a means to be cel celebratory. Um, but, uh, and I think that's why I think sometimes a lot of people look, uh, they feel like they're a commodity or the reason why they're being talked to is to compel them to subscribe and in consequence make the viewer money and uh, the reason why you get so much this you know like and subscribe garbage is because the way the system works you need at least a thousand subscribers uh, and at least over 4,000 hours of watched content and of course the more subscribers you have the more views the more ad revenue and so on and so forth and of course the more likelihood of deals and so I've always tried to shy right away from doing things like that not really because I don't mind the practice you know people are going to make money but I never wanted people to look at my stuff and think this guy is only doing this or only is interested in me uh, in, for his own interests you know he only cares about me as a source of revenue and uh, I, I, I because I'm fortunate I have another job it's never really been like that maybe if I become very big I'll sell out I'll become a big sellout you'll know I'll, start, I'll wink at the camera and say this is sellout Sunday you know <laughs> um, 
but uh, I've, I've, I've I've been very fortunate because when people I feel like to think that when people join, they've uh, they felt like they're watching content and discussing a game rather than being a source of revenue, um, and I think that's also a little bit of the reason why I've done pretty well for myself. Uh, including to the wide variety of games and my excessive skill, charisma and charm. You might be wondering why I don't smile very often. It's because I have very gappy teeth, <laughs> as you can probably see. Um, it's uh, because of the Coca-Cola. <laughs> it's because of all that sugar, the fizzy drinks, you know. Uh, it's, uh, it's mostly because of that. But uh, I would say I'm not a very good streamer. And I'm not very good at YouTube because... I can't multitask. You probably see that when I'm talking and playing games. I can't do both at once. And so often my skill degrades as I'm talking. I just don't talk at all because I'm too focused on the skills. Um, but as a subject, uh, so why are we actually having this conversation? Um, it's simply to tell you what the plan is future in future. So we've got Callisto Protocol coming up this year. Uh, we've got a new Unity of Command 2 coming out. Um, and of course, we have got... Uh, potentially more expansions for Victoria 3 uh, and there's an, also that sort of uh, World War game coming out, First World War tactical sort of uh, game coming out which I'm sort of interested in playing um, what's it called? Uh, I've got it on my wish list uh, also the reason why I don't share my screen very often is simply because I'm a potato and I don't want to risk do doxing myself by accident uh, eventually I, I will probably will end up doing that but uh, please, please don't, you know swap me <laughs> the great war western front uh, that's what i'm looking at uh and of course in future uh, i am moving towards building a discord for communication i have tried to shy away from that uh because i again because it's something i would have to openly monitor and you know you have discord dramas and things like that you either need a, a group of people you can trust to moderate or you need to moderate it yourself and I don't want naughty things to go on on, on, on my Discord. I just want people to talk about games, uh, talk about games and to play games. So um, I will probably, I have opened up Discord, I have made the Bare Bones Discord group. Uh, I will probably add that in the, in the description below uh, where you can join. It is very Bare Bones, there is low quality there. You are literally just in there to either talk about a game uh, embed a link or um, set up a lobby and I'm hoping that some future allows more interaction between me and um, and viewers meaning that if I do open up a Victoria 3 game or I do plan a Vicky 3 game I can invite people instead of just me booting up a game and uh, hoping someone who watches me joins um, I hope I can do an announcement or prepare in advance for games so if people want to play uh, they can join in um, and things like that. Uh, and then that way, once I get to know people, I can eventually start to, uh, what's the phrase? I can start to see, you know, who's going to not going to be a naughty, but who's going to say the gamer words and so on and so forth. Uh, and then I can, of course, I hopefully move into live streaming multiplayer games like Ricky 3 and Hoi 4, because the big problem with those games and trying to live stream them is the risk of Hoi 4 lobbies being uh, edgy. Uh, there's a Hoi 4 principle. Uh, I, I've invented it myself. Uh, I call it copyright. I mildly started copyright that the longer you are in a Hoi 4 lobby, the higher the likelihood something racist is going to be said. <laughs> and uh, and unfortunately, I can't. It would just wind me up having to live stream and then have to end the stream on mute. And because my server is so bare bones, my mic is two directional and, um, well, omnidirectional, it would just be a nightmare trying to get good audio and things like that. Uh, but hopefully in future, if we do, once our Discord goes up, well, is up, I'll put the invite below, we can set about arranging things and getting things going. I won't be very active on that Discord. I only go in to check things and check reports and things like that. And I may open up. I normally have Discord off, but uh, hopefully, touch wood, uh, I will eventually automatically leave it open rather than automatically close it in future. And uh, I'll set up my own voice channel and stuff like that. And if, if people want to message me or, or have a word with me, they can you know DM me uh, and, and say how bad I am at our micro, which is true. But it's because I'm lazy. It's because I'm lazy. <laughs> I'm a lazy boy when it comes to when it comes to micro. That's why I play miners because it's less effort. But uh, anyway, uh, of course uh, we'll do that. Uh, and then uh, in terms of future, sort of a manifesto. So once I do, if I if I do get up to that, about you know the thousand subscribers, what my plan will be is to get most revenue from um, the commercials, the adverts. Um, that way, it feels less like I'm shoehorning adverts into my videos and it feels less corporate 
it feels less soulless uh, and unless there isn't a, a, a game or a certain um, product which I really like because I, I don't like the idea of having to you know use a false script like you've seen that Scottish uh, Lord advert on YouTube and it just feels so cor- corporate it feels scripted like oh do you love x y and z well well with this product you can grow your you know <laughs> grow your hair 12 inches uh, I was going to say something else but uh, uh, and and people will, will, will want to be your friend etc etc and I don't want to, I don't really want that unless, unless it's a product I really like and think that people will enjoy I don't think I want to go down that route so that's really the plan I, I don't really want to become a corpo shill um but it's just so in, in advance you guys know that what, what the plans were um if we ever get to that lofty 1000 views uh one thousand not 1000 views 1000 subscribers um and we'll just leave and i'll, I'll probably i'll put the advert at the start and at the end there you go most people don't watch my stuff to the end i've looked at the analytics i wouldn't watch my stuff to the end it's poor quality shoddy stuff unless it's a tutorial um i wouldn't i wouldn't recommend it either um but uh so i'll just put it at the start and at the end and um and leave it at that uh, so you guys know in advance what's going to happen because i don't want to say oh i'm you know genuine i'm as genuine as a uh, u.s steel and then it turns out next week i'm uh, putting out uh, next week just like wait a second this guy's like you know <laughs> is uh is advertising scam coin <laughs> it's advertising uh financial investments that will bankrupt me and leave me homeless uh yeah that's not the plan that's not the plan and of course this will not be the main effort if it was i ever became you know if the stars aligned and i became a big boy and expanded into the universe as the uh as a, a a big YouTuber before my inevitable scandals leave me uh you know banned, <laughs> uh, I would um I would potentially move in to put more effort into the YouTube videos, um because right now I've got a good career at the moment I've got a good job, and so this is something to do on the side, and that's why you're not getting, well you guys know what what you subscribe you guys know what 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 you get pay, what you pay for what you do or what you don't pay for uh you know what you get like yeah, it is what it is it's just it's just me talking about games or playing it um and that's what that's why i think i don't want to make people feel i don't want to put up it to a certain standard i put loads of effort into these editing put all this stuff into the video reduce my um if my performance at work and then of course once i inevitably have to reduce the quality of my work of my videos i don't want people to feel uh I I don't want people to I don't want my viewership to be dependent on quality. <laughs> I don't want my viewership dependent on quality. Uh, I just want it to be uh, viewed on uh, mutual enjoyment. Uh, and of course, once you once you do get people in who are only interested in quality or are mainly attracted by quality, uh, or making it shiny and you know fancy and all that sort of stuff. Um, then it's a slippery slope because then you start losing viewers. You think, oh, oh start losing subscribers. You think, oh, okay, I've got to do more, I've got to do more. I don't want to do that. I'm quite happy where I am in the sort of ecosystem. Uh, YouTube ecosystem is of niche, being niche, hiding. Um, but hey, you never say never. Um, no, say never. Uh, I'd want to do some expansion and to say uh, more reviews for video games, things like that. But again, good reviews require a higher degree of effort. Um, so what I want to do is potentially. Uh, get footage of the game, edit the footage for the game, uh, and then have a voiceover with a script. Um, probably not even a script, just me rambling off the top of my head, as you know why I tend to do is rambling off the top of my head. Uh, insanity. Um, but that's maybe something I intend to do in the future, rather than play the game while reviewing it, because I feel like sometimes it's not very organised. Uh, rather disorganised, really. Uh, but uh, this was just an announcement saying thank you for the um, subscribers. Uh, thank you for watching. I don't really care too much if you subscribe or not. Well, actually, that's a lie. <laughs> that's a lie. I mean, I, I'm just happy that you watched it and you, and you, and you enjoyed it, really. Um, I always get a, a, a fuzzy feeling when people... I get... It's a bit like dopamine. It's like, oh, it's like tweets and retweets, isn't it? You get addicted. So the first big video I got massive success from was a Hearts of Iron 4 Russian um Russian playthrough or players for the Soviet Union. That got me like 2.1k views, bearing in mind I was getting like 200 views, 10 views, 20 views before that, and I was still sort of learning the best settings for the uh, for the videos. 
uh, and uh, then you got the dopamine rush and then you got the subscriber rush and you're like okay uh, then it was very tempting to ride that rush it was very tempting to go I will do more Hoi4 I will do more Hoi4 I will keep on editing Hoi4 videos I will keep on appealing to the Hoi4 audience but I didn't want to go down that road because I was afraid of becoming uh, of, of the hobby of playing the video games becoming more of a job playing a game I didn't want to play um, every single day and of course, I can see why people end up falling into that hobby, uh, into that sort of slippery slope, because they see their base is majority of a certain game, and then they build that base of that one game, and eventually that puts them into a corner. They can't move out into another game. They can't move out into, um, I don't know, an RPG or an FPS or another strategy game. They are a Hoi Four streamer or a Hoi Four YouTuber, uh, and then they try and move out. And then it's and it's very dependent as well on the success of other games. It's very dependent on the success of say uh, Victoria Three. So if, if you're Hoi Four, Hoi Four starting to get stale, people are getting bored of it, moving on, then you're in a bad spot because you are the Hoi Four gamer. Uh, and then um, you hope that you can transition to Victoria Three. But uh, unfortunately, uh, well, in this case, Victoria Field is acceptable. It's still got more to come. It needs more work, but it's getting there. Um, but uh, then you try and move into, oh, no, Imperator Rome, and it's a disaster. And then you're penned in, and you don't know what to do. Uh, and that's really the big thing is, is that's why it kept me away from that. And it's very tempting to go down that road, but I didn't want to do that. Because, like I said, if it was more commercial, I probably would rush. I'd, I'd, I'd chase the viewerships and I'd chase the subscriptions where, my, where the base was. But because it is a hobby, I get the freedom of playing what I want. Um, there are some games I won't play online. So I've recently got Persona 5 Royale. Uh, and that's a guilty pleasure because because uh, I'm enjoying that anime game. But it's, it's like Pokemon, but on anime high school. Uh, but the, like, the third line in was, uh, you know, I've got your back, senpai. And I was like, no, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Uh. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not going to stream that. I'm putting on my YouTube. That is a guilty pleasure. <laughs> like, as a what, a 27 year old man, that's not something I'm gonna, you know, put on the channel. Uh, and, uh, because it, it, I would cringe internally. That's a guilty pleasure. If you want to like vicariously live a uh, as a um a live a life as a as a Japanese high schooler because you never had a chance to, uh, and have a friendship group and so on and so forth, then um, that's something you play. Uh, by yourself that's not something you play uh on, on youtube uh but of course other people do some people enjoy it but i i can't do it i can't do it because i, I just cringe like i can't like the, the dialogue just hurts me inside um it's not it's it's, it's like watching the 70s show or friends you know it's cringe worthy but it's a guilty pleasure and of course, some games that are my my rig can't run, so I did try and move into Total War, but for some reason I can play Total War fine with no FPS cuts, but it doesn't record very well. So, um, okay, in terms of limitations with, with editing and that, I don't really spend any money on the editing and things like that. I know there are some sort of free editing software and things like that available, but it's a cost between money and time as well. And uh, of course, with times getting a bit harsher in terms of... Um, the economy as it stands that um things are becoming a lot more expensive uh, with the new machines and i think i've got a rog zephyrus g17 which i've had for about two years now a 2080 super graphics card so um unfortunately we're going to get to the stage where i won't be able to improve the quality of the videos or get that 4k or 10k or whatever uh, but it's also a limitation on the youtube uh, itself i think as a as a youtuber until you get to a certain level you're limited by the quality of your videos um but apart from that um so in terms of quality it's going to stay about the same I, I have tried to improve it but i just can't do it with the machine i've got uh and while using a laptop you filthy casual gamer uh because i move around a lot uh it's simple uh, i move around a lot um and i want to make sure my you know, my, my most expensive possession or my expensive, most expensive possess, uh, portable possession uh, is around with me. So when I go back home to see the family, I've got that laptop that comes home with me uh, rather than a, a rig, which is a bit more of a nightmare to move around. Uh, but um, I recommend it. It was really good. Um, it still runs very well. And I've been very lucky because the PlayStation, well, the new PlayStations are all, and the new consoles are all over the place right now in terms of quality and the recent games are still pretty bottlenecked by the consoles and so that's really worked in my favor right now but uh, as things get more demanding on the game uh, more games get more demanding we, we may have to move 
I may have to upgrade, uh, but as it stands, I can't really do much more to improve quality. Same with the camera, I could get a better camera, but again, I don't think I can get, get an improved camera and uh, an improved uh, uh, with, uh, with, uh, and get improved resolution and things like that without the expense of performance on my um, actual recordings. Um, but apart from that, this is a, a sort of a uh, future of what I intend to do. Uh, and if you have any questions, I'll be I'll be happy to answer any questions in, in another video. Um, and I also say um a lot because I talk fast. There you go. I talk really fast, but I sometimes my brain doesn't process as fast as I'm talking. So what will happen is I will have an idea of something I want to say. I will say something up to a point. And then what will happen is you get the pause because my brain has to process the next step in the uh, uh, in the argument or or the opinion or what I'm saying. So you get long pauses or ums and ahs because you've got those little micro gaps where my brain is like trying to process faster, like a bottleneck on a CPU. <laughs> like I've been uh, described as a bit of a robot like that because it's like a bottleneck of a of um, of a CPU processor. It's, it's it's got to a point, but it hasn't processed any further yet or hasn't got the correct words to um, process it and then what happens is you get that um on that uh. of course that'd be fixed by a script and things like that but i again this is low effort stuff <laughs> this is a uh, this is a uh, scraping the bottom of the barrel uh, well i've seen worse come on i've seen worse you've seen worse it's not like that bad i mean it's it's no, it's no you know big boy but i see i think it's acceptable it's all right it's workable uh, but yeah, if you uh, want to have, ask any questions, I'll respond in another video. Um, and I think that's more or less it. I suppose what are my opinions on bits and bobs? Uh, most of my opinions would be based on video games or what's happening in the UK. Uh, you can ask me those opinions. Uh, I can answer them in another question uh, in YouTube uh, in, a, in, a, in a separate video. But I don't really want to answer them while I'm playing video games because no one wants to watch, you know, Doki Doki Literature Club and then the commentators discussing world affairs. <laughs> it's like, wait a second, I came here to watch, you know, anime. Now I'm uh, listening to this random British uh, person, you know, go on about the housing market. I mean, it does happen because, you know, I mean, I'm human, uh, but uh, I don't, um, I realise that you don't, you come here to or escape you don't come here for, or to talk about your hobby not to get soul crushed by you know what's going on in the real world but that's all i just want to say thank you um i want to say uh what's going to happen in the future uh i want to you now bring up the discord uh this is the discord will be very conditional uh, i'll keep it running for a while but if i start feeling that's becoming untenable i will have to close it down uh, it's because um, I can't spend 24 hours a day looking after that and I don't want that place to fester. Uh, I'd like to think the people who watch this because the way I act and conduct myself won't be the sort of people but you'd always get the occasional troll and, uh, and the lunatic that goes around ruining it for everyone else but, uh, I, but it'll be conditional to see how well it runs. It's, think of it as a trial period, uh, a trial period to see, see if it's workable and if it's not workable then we'll kill it. Uh, and uh, we'll go back to the local the polls, the YouTube polls of Doom. In any case, uh, that's it. Uh, thank you. This goal is going to be up, conditional. Uh, here's the future, what my plans are. Callisto Protocol tomorrow. I've already seen leaks of it. Looks good. Um, looks fun. Uh, I think people wanting to play a bit of Dead Space are going to get a little bit disappointed because it's not going to be as it's going to be the same horror theme, but it's not going to be the same sort of gameplay mechanics, if you know what I mean, uh, from what I've seen from the early leaks. And uh, I also wanted to say, you know, in future, my limitations and uh, why I appreciate you people, you guys, uh, guys and girls, um, watching, because it, this means that it was a good, it was a good dose of self self esteem. You know, people, it was nice to know that other people were interested in what I was interested in and also enjoyed listening to me speak <laughs> but uh, that's it that's all uh, yep uh, and i'll sell out uh, once i get a thousand subscribers and uh, i'll try and sell you bits of land which are completely uh non-existent or uh, pretty garbage um and etc etc all that sort of stuff uh yeah no uh, i'm not selling out well n unless they paid me a lot of money <laughs> like an excessively large amount of money uh yeah uh, but thanks, that's it. Uh, okay, um, I suppose I'll click stop recording now.